medium pressure, turning at one time, not grinding it back and forth, but being sure I hear a little bit of action under that uh, score. A little bit of pressure into my body to be sure everything's tight and even. Then you dip it in for 15 to 20 seconds. Go. Not yet. Do it. Okay. And then you dunk it in the ice bath. If you don't hear an immediate crack, oh. You heard something. Ta da! Yay! Perfect every time. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Just then to make sure you got a smooth edge, use a little bit of a uh, sander. Nice even pressure. Come back in. Have the bottle all cut. You get the soldering metal tapey stuff. You peel it off, kumsa, and you put it around the edge of the bottle. It definitely cuts down the sharpness, and also it makes it, uh, you know, it makes it a little more ornamental. And how do you get the bottle to stay up? Oh, the bottle stays up because you put something that's bigger than the actual opening of the bottle in there so that it won't pass through. And then comes the fun part. You just um, take some wire, make some designs. You can use a cork. You can use a piece of wire. Just bend a little hook in it. Hang it from a tree. Put a little candle in the bottom. And it can be a fake candle like this one that's less messy. Yeah, baby. Now we got it. Check this out, folks. <laughs> well, damn, it went out again. You can see the same thing here with all of these. I, my wife designed this, and I just think she's just done a bang-up job. Whoops. Sure has. Doing this with African Suku's music. <laughs> I'm gonna find it.